Hey guys, Tudor Marine here with another video today, talking about the, the that fake uh, Sergeant Major. Let me type something in. That fake Sergeant Major uh, that the two Marines basically called out, who the because they were attending a, a funeral for a Marine buddy of theirs, and it's good shit. I mean, the fact that the Marines called him out that is is good shit. They. Uh, the dude was obviously not a sergeant major. Uh, I would venture to say that he was not in the military uh, at all. And I'm glad that they called him out. I mean, if you look at him, I don't know a ton about Army uniforms. Uh, I know I know the basics. And I know that the Army doesn't do ribbons and medals at the same time. At the Marine Corps dress blues, we do. Uh, but I don't believe the Army does. You know, as far as, as far as I'm aware, they don't. And so seeing that and the fact that he had the same ribbon as he did some medals was a big giveaway just the way he kind of carried himself sergeant majors are f cocky fucking dudes regardless of the branch they they are confident you know they're proud of themselves they stand tall and this dude just this dude just didn't didn't have that he had the presidential seal and, and one of the things that you'll notice about about these guys that that good you know and they fake um they fake being a, a military service member, whether it's a Marine, you know, whether it's an Army, uh, a soldier, whether it's a Navy SEAL. They always go over the top in almost every single case. You know, instead of being, you know, a Marine Corporal, you know, with, you know, say combat action ribbon, you, know, you went to Iraq and you fought in Fallujah. That, in a lot of cases, if you looked the part, you know, if you're in decent shape, you know, you got the haircut, that could be believable. And I guarantee that's happened where some people do. They kind of just toe the line right there. But these guys, you know, this guy, the Sergeant Major, for example, had had the fucking the presidential um, deal that you wear when you work, you know, in the Pentagon with the president, all that sort of crap. He had the, uh, he had, I want to say it was a Bronze Star. Um, and he didn't know what the fuck he earned it for, which is complete BS. If you earn a medal like that, you know exactly what you earned it for. Unless you got so messed up mentally and, like, you're essentially in a bed or in a coma, you'll know what it was about. And this guy didn't. He was making shit up. And he was, oh, I saved a bunch of people in California, or whatever the fuck he said. He said, dude, you don't get a bronze star for saving people in California. You just don't do it. It doesn't happen. The Army doesn't do it. Marine, Marine Corps doesn't do it. The Navy doesn't do it. Fucking eat a dick. But then, like, the if you guys have seen Don Shipley, he, does, uh, he has a lot of YouTube videos, and he was a Navy SEAL for 25, 30 years, something like that. And he now calls out people who are faking being a Navy SEAL and he'll call him up and this dude has gotten I guess access to you know the list of all Navy SEALs um, former and I don't know about currently active but at the very least former you know formerly active Navy SEALs and he can, he can look their shit up he can look up their name and he'll just if you can call him and be like hey you know I have this guy that I work with whatever that's saying I'm a Navy they say he's a Navy SEAL could you check him out? And if he thinks the case is convincing enough, he'll call him and he'll post it to YouTube. Um, but one of the guys that was saying, was his, saying he was a Navy SEAL, he didn't go over the top to the point where he said he got the Medal of Honor, but he goes and says that he received two Navy crosses, that he has two Navy crosses. And there, as far as I know, there isn't anyone who served in the last 20 years in any branch that has received two Navy crosses. It's happened before. I mean... The Marine General Chesty Puller had five Navy crosses, but he served, I think he was active duty, technically serving for like 50 years. Like 30-something of that were on combat deployments. The dude was fucking in country all the time. And it's, it, during his time, he received five Navy crosses. And there's others that have received two of them. There's been Marines that have received two Medals of Honor. Uh, you know, Dan Daly, for example. But... These guys, you know, especially the ones currently that are still alive, that are still relatively young, it just doesn't happen. Um, and so these guys that fake this shit, they generally will go over the top. And once you guys are in the Marine Corps, in the Army, in the Navy, whatever you decide to do, you will understand the medals, you will understand the ribbons, you will understand what each of them is. You may not know some of the more obscure stuff. There's still some ribbons that I'm like, what the fuck is that for? But all the... The major stuff, you know, the Bronze Star, Silver Star, Navy Cross, uh, Air Defense Medal, the um, Distinguished Service Cross that the Army gives out, all that sort of shit, you know what that is, and you will recognize it and be able to see it right off the bat. And 
And so if you see a kid who's 19 who's got – who's a sergeant who has, like, 18 medals and one of which is a Navy Cross and all this shit, you're like, yeah, fuck you, kid. So you guys will learn that shit. But that sergeant major, guy's an idiot. The Marines fucking called him out. And who knows what happened after that, but, you know, fuck that guy. I hate people that try to fake that shit. It, it just irritates me. And, you know, they just can't deal with the fact that they didn't serve. They didn't have the balls to do it. They didn't uh, – yeah, they couldn't hack it. They were, they were too scared, you know, whatever the case. And now they realize that veterans, depending where you live, veterans are, you know, looked upon in a favorable manner. They, there's a lot of programs that help veterans get jobs. Uh, you know, veterans do get free meals on occasion from people, and they're just trying to cash in. And so people that do that shit fucking irritate me. They do. So, all right, guys, if you have any other questions, concerns, comments about this, hit me up, and I'll see you in the next one. Semper Fidelis.